go. 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 It's time. Time for the dork table. Do do do. Right here on RLM Radio dot X Y Z. Media dot com. Hello, Flash. Flash of Rooney. Hello. Flash somebody. Some Hello. booty. Hello, Vincent. Welcome to the dork side. The dork side. Yes, and I'm. Uh, what's that? What do you call me? Uh, dork twicey today. <laughs> yeah, you're my hostage of the week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I finally made it back to radio. Yeah, welcome back. You want to say hi and do the intros today? I'd like to listen for a bit. I'm going to mute myself and listen to you until I feel like interrupting some. Good. Shut your mouth and uh, <laughs> say hello to Barman up top with Gramner, the great and mighty. Eva Long, come moose girl. She might be uh, somewhere else. Hi, Kate. We love you. I am Phantom. I don't know who Phantom is. Aunt I, Asmo, Chloe. Miss who? Chloe. We love Chloe. I love Chloe. And Chloe the hippie, too. And Cole uh, Fax. Chloe, Chloe. Cole Fax. Cyborg. What I want. Cyborg Noodle. Yes, my favorite. <laughs> Who's Cyborg that? Noodle. <laughs> Dakota. Dakota's here. Yep. And doesn't say a lot, but <laughs> no, Dakota. Uh, and by the way, what, what happened to uh, what's his name? Oh, your old buddy. My old buddy. Yeah, from way back when. What's his he, name? Yeah, he did the crazy radio stuff. Oh, uh, Anthrax. Anthrax. I, yeah. That wasn't his name, but that's what I called him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the angriest, the angriest, hundred and forty pounds of Catholic byproduct that ever walked the face of the earth <laughs> he, he was one pissed off little guy <laughs> anyway what about him oh i just came to mind i think uh, they know each other dakota oh they're friends oh. They, uh, back in the days i think uh yeah working there hanging out i have no you know what i got my own romance to meander over so i really don't really pay too much attention to everybody else's you know okay. do what you want it's a free world <laughs> yeah well we've seen a lot of people come and go around here and how long have i been here you uh you invited me to radio he was like the second or third per- person asked me to come back to do some radio and that was back in the original world truth days yeah right at the uh, yeah it was the end of the uh, of the original WT. Now there's a new one. There's a new, right. new, old, <laughs> a new, new, old <laughs> yeah. WT. Yeah, it has a lot of the original players in it. The and, new, old, new. Yeah, Ant and Bo Diddy got together and did something. And uh, it drew a lot of the uh, original players, Grammys there. B from Australia, <laughs> Mary B. Um, Hello. Well, anyway, if you, if you're curious, you can go there and see. But it's down nice. under, yeah. But and it's, on, it's nice to be back with some of these old friends. I signed up, but I ain't done nothing over there. I ain't done nothing much elsewhere. But anyways, we'll go on and say hello to Echelon, and there you are, flash some body's booty, <laughs> frumpy, IBDC. That's IBDC. Java Doctor, him and two Judge Dread, our good buddy Hans a lot. There's the JJ's Sir with nine and Hans a lot. I know. Want a taco? Want a taco? What's up with JJ's over in Scotland? Is he I, in Scotland, right, or Ireland? Scotland, I right? He's in Scotland. Scotland, like? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's way off. Scot. No. Scottish is yeah. like a mouthful of English with marbles. Oh, I got you. Okay, I see. <laughs> so okay. Well, keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell now, you, Sonny. Now you know why I don't bother with Danish. Uh, I'm lucky I'm not doing it in an Italian accent. No, we're lucky you're not doing it. Yeah. An anyway. Want a taco? Get, want a taco? Get to saying hellos to the other people. Yeah, we'll want, a, want a taco? It's not a question. <laughs> like, how long is a Chinaman? Uh, Kozu. Uh, <laughs> Meister Brown. Woody. Woody. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, should I pick on the bra? I suppose I would, you should. 
I was picking on him a little while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Did Did you get the link there? Did I post it for? Uh, I think I did for. Uh, yeah, Michael Obama. <laughs> I I read the text around that and thought, Nah, that that's going too far. <laughs> I don't I don't really dislike anybody enough to to open something like that for a laugh. Oh, what? nah, sure. that's too personal. You know, <laughs> you might as well just put up you know like stained underwear that they were wearing. That's just, well, it's, it's nonsense. That's what happens when you wear them wrestling tights. That's all. <laughs> I Moi, move on, Moi. Moi. Weirdo. Yeah. Moi. And we got a lot of pox. Uh, we so sure do. Pox, pox, pox of five, pox of foam, pox of home, palms. Oh, that pawn stuff is somebody else. Mm. I guess you put that on shrimp. And then you got rain, not like rain on the plane that falls mainly on the plane. The flu. He's a Jethro Bogan, he might say. The goo in your shoe. <laughs> oh, in the shoe. Gets Belongs to the shoe. Jew. No, it gets mainly in the shoe. But we'll tax it anyway, so belongs to us <laughs> don't resist don't resist very own vanna white of uh, rlm and uh is uh, suspected the, romance with barman the very the own fluke. rlm fluke i will, no I will crush the barman like a fly she flutters her eyes butterfly kisses Whoa. there's rob Burks. Wow. yes and uh, his code name yeah is uh Scoopo. <laughs> is that what that is? Okay. Scubo. Yeah, I saw so that. So Bob works minus the R. He told me to minus the R the other night. So uh, minus the R. Ah, and then reverb, then do it backwards. Oh. But yeah, but it, it just came completely somewhere out of the blue. It had nothing to do with what he's actually talking about. But. Like usual. Anyway, so how long have you been off the radio now, Mister? I. I I don't know, but I have one hanging uh, on the wall. It's a transistor radio. A radio hanging on the wall. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad I asked that question. Here, let's try yeah. this again. You know, it has the same batteries it's had in there for two or three years. <laughs> it's, still, it's like one of the 1970s sport radio, you know? Oh, back like when, when they made shit that worked and lasted yeah, yeah, for more yeah. than 30 days? Mm-hmm. Yeah, until they regulated the shit out of stuff and said, hey, we want you to make a new one every 30 days. And now, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Planned obsolescence. Thank With you very much. slave labor to do it. Oh, it's hey. brilliant. I wish I would have invested heavily in prisons when I had a chance at, at it when I was younger. Hey, I think they're talking smack about us over here in the chat. Oh, uh, that's okay. Ah. Let's get on to the guy with the hand up his butt to sock puppet. Ah, yeah. sock puppet. <laughs> hand up his butt. Somebody's oh, that's good to bring. Move. That's good to bring rain. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're you slapped him with the gauntlet of love. <laughs> Slap. <laughs> I'm glad I had a glove. <laughs> well, hey, he's, uh, he's got the master barbecue going on down there in Florida. Good. Somebody should do it. As long yeah. as I don't have to do it, I don't care who does it. And and on to the guy that can never measure up to Skittles to the nasty taste that comes out of his mouth every oh, time. Wow. Yeah. 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 Skittle. Who? Skittle. 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 Yeah. Skittlebot. Yeah, he's an F bomb maniac. I know. Yeah. That that's not my fault either. What what are you what are you complaining about everything at me? Yeah. Why? Then there's trust. Number one. Oh, oh, oh. No one. Trust no one. No one. No one. It's all and Dylan, about the last in line, Dwight Twacy. Oh, yeah, Dwight Twacy. And he, it's all a matter of how you look at it. How do you look at it? At what? Do, do from the anal retentive perspective. Oh, from my anal retentive perspective. How do I see what, what in particular? That was see, we very, talked about this question. earlier. You cannot see it. You mun, one might only capture the aroma in the description. True. I understand that completely. And I have my own personal twist to all of it because I'm existing in a country without speaking the native tongue. And the more involved I get, 
the less important that becomes. And today, I said a guy's name in Danish on the phone to Circle, and he, he said I said his name right in Danish. Well, I'm proud of you. Oh, I will. Okay. You got to understand, I'm the one that wants to go and wander all over town finding the shit that Cirque wants to get. So I find this little store and blah, blah, blah. And I go there and I like to go do it. And I've uh, learned a lot about the people because, you know, we talk when I go in. And the guy that runs the <laughs> rock store, his wife does the yarn shop thing. They're in one little area, one build, little small building. I want to open a yarn shop. Well, he didn't. He opened a rock store where he sells jewelry and rocks and whatnot. But his wife does the yarn, and when she's gone, he helps me. <laughs> I want to open a yarn rock shop. I would like, yeah, play music and like tell yarns and song, ah, and do like pirate yarns. That's a little different. Anyway, I was so I was so amazed. I actually put put him because I couldn't explain to him. What Cirque wanted to buy, so I had to resort to. No, you got to talk to her yourself, <laughs> and uh, actually worked. So, there you go. It's four twenty somewhere in ten minutes. Nine minutes. Oh, why, I why, will correct you. Wait? You're always <clears throat> wrong. You know that. Why we wait? we had to just be. I'll be right, and you can be wrong today. What do you think of that? Okay. Okay. And you will be Vince wrong. <laughs> It'd be I, like like I would be anti too then because anti right too. Yeah. Hey, so are you gonna go over to WT and cause a big disturbance amongst your <clears throat> peers? Uh, I signed up, but I haven't been back over there since I did it. Bo Diddy sent me uh, a message, and I heard Hal talking about it. Mm -hmm. And Hal, by the way, um, man, uh, again, well, as a mentor of mine for some years, uh, and really. I find Hal's probably about the only one that is really credible enough to listen to him in uh, what he has to say in his observations and, well, and these wait, perspectives. Wait, wait. Define that. Have. Wait, wait, wait. Define listen to because you can listen and not take an action and still learn. Exactly. See, so he's dumped right in my lap that uh, I made a feeble attempt in research for, and that really put a good effort in. And uh, what a what a windfall, and uh, it just drops in my lap. So I. This uh, this burning these fires out west, uh, um, something I've been meaning to to take up, and I actually attempt to to, to write and make my first uh, published article. Uh, Shit, you you should get a ghostwriter and write a fucking book before somebody else does. Uh, I'm listening to a killer uh, zombie uh, audio book. Uh, right, but you you were involved in that thing at, at a level of of insight that was kind of private. Well, and you had some, conversations uh, about some of this shit with people that were big players in that game. Yeah, oh, so, that's true. Right, and I'm saying is, just uh, somebody else. I gave I give great advice, but don't take it because I'm not a greedy fuck <laughs> anymore, right? But if I was you, Mister, I'd be writing shit down and getting deals, make some money, because that's what it's about in the end, you know. You're not going to get out of this one easy. You're going to have to commit to something. <clears throat> and I think well, you, you know could probably uh, write and stay where you are. Yeah, I, it's, uh, that's my uh, that's my thing. A um, couple of books, really, I do want to write. You know, I've been writing this one in my head for a long time, uh, Zombie Apocalypse. This thing's going to pop up, so I'm going to kill it right there, hopefully, Yeah, before it starts. But anyways, this... Uh, <laughs> I've been, uh, been being a bit just relaxed now, uh, being back home. A uh, lot of settling in, moving into, uh, I got a new fifth wheel. So, uh, wait a minute, it's going to try to play again. Uh, but I've been listening to this long, long audio book, Chris uh, Philbrook. It's Adrian's Undead Diary Syrian series. So, like a book six, and there's already a seven. I don't know how many books there are on this, but uh, pretty good. Written in a lot of ways. Uh, my idea was as a, uh, as a type of uh, archived event. Um. But the ju the zombie genre is something uh, really interesting to me. Uh, I enjoy it. Used to like some of the vampire movies, so kind of a a swing these together and rock on, dude. Grimner, you're uh, you're, you're just going ninety miles an hour, then, huh? Uh, your your music last night 
the first three songs, Stevie Ray Vaughan, yeah. Judas Priest, the new Judas Priest sucked, and uh, so that third song. Um, but I guess you like them. I do. You have, you have been critiqued on the dork table by yeah. Vinny the Dork. It has been recorded for everybody to hear. Now we can mm-hmm. move on to something important. That's a Rick and Young thing. <laughs> you didn't like his. <laughs> you didn't like his picks of music. Wow. <laughs> At least you didn't say anything bad about his uh, rotor problem that he had to solve. Wow. <laughs> but it was it was kind of fun to to hear him say it because. I know what it's like to have something that works and then have somebody come and improve things for me. <laughs> and you can't stop them for some reason. Progress is coming whether we want it to or not. All you can do is just threaten them with a baseball bat and hope they don't call you out on it. <laughs> I don't know. I was being funny. Hey, I was making funny noises. I unplugged that big go. Uh speaker uh oh they're arguing about something about uh getting what I can't make sense of this they're on some kind of site thing I guess oh over on world truth by the way I need to go back up and copy uh, Woody's address thing there oh yeah uh, gets away from me you want me to want me to put it back in oh yeah where do you find him at oh I got it right here oh bit uh, Macron. Yeah. On He's where? On mines? Mines, mines.com. Man. You know what I did? Uh, no, I have no uh, idea what it makes, you did. Uh, makes me so angry because it took me hours and hours and hours to take all these bookmarks off. And somehow I hit a button and it put all of my old stuff back out. What I had edited all down to this little group. Yeah. Now it's, oh yeah, it's terrible. Oh, so I, you, you have to do the work twice? Yeah, but I can't imagine undertaking it again. It was uh, it took a long time, long, long time. Uh, yeah, I was oh. thwarted by a computer. They hate me. See now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Where do I where do I find this at? Let's see if I can even get in. Uh, I don't know sir. what you're looking for. So for for mines, I had to I had to see I had that all light out right there in a row, right up front. Mines dot com. Yeah, but I got to be able to sign in and. Oh, that. Well, then do it yeah. later. What do no, you I'll do, do it by, right now. I'll for? do it while we're talking. But, wow, um, you're crazy and daring. Are you are you wearing a crash helmet and, and gloves, or are you just doing this? Do, like, do you remember the uh, the crash crash dummy back what in the seventies? Crash yeah. was it? Yeah. 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 Crash dummy. Here we go. Um, I'm just going to type in mines and see what happens. Because <laughs> Shouldn't be that hard, and then your computer look, look, would look. remember. Oh, look, it found me. Yeah, your computer will remember your screen name and your password unless you told it not to. But the, you know the bad thing? You're retarded oh. and you don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I have duplicate, uh, duplicate. <laughs> Which one am I going to be? I have more than one me. I uh, Mines uses. Am I signed in or not? I think I am. I gotta click OK. Stupid stuff. See, that's what happens. Buttons. Buttons. <laughs> hey, Kate. The last Mary. thing. <laughs> All the right. last hey, thing I'll ever do or say is gonna be. Uh, wonder what this button does. <laughs> well, now now you're filling in for Mary on on Mary's very uh, her her stand in life. Mary is the button the button pusher on the dork table. Well, here's me as a paraphrased plagiarist. Apparently. So here's Stealing me. from Mary on top of it, you plagiarist. That's me. One of me. Vincent Easy. I, I. Use that one. That's <sighs> the one I'd use. Oh, here's a search bar. All and right. That. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type that in there. Mac Broomy Woody. Yeah, because mine's, mine's is really a weird thing. It's a weird sight to me. Not a lot of interaction, but a lot of information. You could read for 30 days on that site and never talk to anybody. Post it down, subscribe. 
Oh, I ain't even logged in. See. Uh, there you go. The thing says log in. Oh, you dork. Crap. What a dork. And you're doing <laughs> it while we're on the show. I can do that. Watch here. Wait. Hold my beer. Watch this. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think it remembers me. I think it's trying to forget you. <laughs> It's like, okay, Vinny, we went through this in Tennessee. Enough is enough. <laughs> it worked. Ha, <laughs> ha. Ah, then he proves me wrong. That's the way to do it. I challenge you. Wait a minute. Oh, there's the subscribe button. Got you, Woody. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's going to. Yeah, he's got some really good pictures of the desert, you know, from his vantage point where he's at. And, uh. I ain't seeing that. I'm just seeing crazy stuff. Here's the one with you and him did stuff together. Thanks. Well, yeah, he filled in because you couldn't make it. You want to explain that one, Mr. I want to do a Tuesday night thing, and then you don't show up, and I got to replace you on your idea? Absolutely. And you know what? The very same day I finally called in and said, you guys owe me a refund for my Internet. Yeah, they put in fiber optics up to a point down the road. And then they spend 10 or 12 days with the thing going in and out. I mean, for all day long, all night long, crap, right in the middle, boom, gone. <laughs> so other than the storms, it's been pretty much uh, uh, staying on now. But it's over now or what? Maybe. Oh, all right. Go. So you might get cut off and then I just got to do this alone. No. No, I'm not. No, no. I, it's been holding except for the That's storm. That's what I just said, and you said no. Oy. No. <sighs> well, I'll, it's a dork table, all right. I uh, haven't seen a picture one. Of what? Of Woody's camp. Oh, well, you probably got to go down to the very beginning of when he uh, when he signed I'm in. Cause I'm it, still scrolling. Oh, yeah, look, there's it, Nat Finnecum jury is out. Yeah, Cal see? Tech. Hey, Cowboy. <laughs> I posted that. That's probably from Jay Grady. I posted some of the um, Bundy stuff on on my my page. Really? And yeah, from your stuff. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me well, go. Uh, I know you well enough to know I'm not following a dead issue, and I'm not on the wrong side of it. So I can trust that if you post stuff, I can open it up in a few seconds. Tell, oh yeah, this is the right stuff. Boom, put it up, and. People are actually agreeing with you. Uh, I, I call myself expert in on this matter. I might not be an expert on necessarily everything and all things and uh, or specific things, but that uh, one overall, thing, yeah, you did pretty good on that. I'm impressed. Should it should uh, get you? Uh, yeah. It should get you another step wherever direction you're going in. Well, I think I'm going to sit right here for a while and. Uh, um, Go back into school and study, uh, hmm. you know, my grammar and, you know, putting all that really? stuff together proper. Yeah. Um, Holy you know, shit. what Hal has said is, uh, you know, people uh, kind of have an obligation to interpret uh, what the speaker's intent is. But most people don't do that. They do their own interpretation. Hmm. Um, so there's kind of a, a duty and obligation for the, the speaker to wish and to convey information, to be able to speak uh properly and in, into the uh, you know context that people can understand as well. I'm not shooting that high. Oh, uh, I am. Yeah, I realize that. I mean, that's what I'm saying is you and Woody are m more serious. This is more fun in games for me. It gives me something to do. I like to, to make jokes and tell stories and crap like that. But as far as I don't want to be in America <clears throat> helping the cause – at this point in my life and when i was there i was doing other things there was no cause to help so i'm not I, i'm not about a cause i'm not about america an improvement I'm not about, all right here let yeah, me find a about, better word wait 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 wait, wait. i'm improving myself yeah all i'm right, not well, about you attacked me you bitch so i'm no, I defending didn't. yeah you did too Big baby so use Where's the word zipper? improve hold your finger out <laughs> <laughs> Here, hold this. I'll be right back. <laughs> anyway, improve. See there. Yeah, there's some torturous people in this world, you know. Yeah. People that do stuff like that, you know, and laugh about it. Yeah. And that's what we're looking at. Is a difference between right and wrong. There's a 
some some uh, subjective perspectives involved in uh, this that we're in pursuit of, right? And it's not about for me not being about a patriot mu- movement, not a constitutionalist, not this, not that, not left, not right. But uh, I do believe that uh, buying up the fubblers is a good idea, Rob. Thank you very much. <laughs> Did, did you say amen? <coughs> I think he did. <laughs> I didn't want to interrupt you while you were in deep rant. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. But what we have in the world overall is a <clears throat> failure to communicate. There are those men you just can't reach. <laughs> this is why you got to hit them so hard. And then hey, still, you know, all you're doing then is you're just making an enemy. You're not going to get your way. So we're taught a bunch of idiot shit that doesn't work. Have you ever listened to that word, in a me? The you got to let them. You got to let them into you to be your enemy, right? Into me. In ah, me. very good. I don't have any enemies. You know, that's the whole point. My real, my physical world that I exist in, uh, I just get along in it. Well, I have and, some, uh, perhaps some credit. Baby brought coffee. Ha, ha, ha. The elixir. Oh, very nice. I have a big cup of coffee. I mean, <clears throat> I made it, uh, I like to boil my coffee. Cowboy coffee, I call it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's very good. I like it. Yeah, but my coffee comes with a Danish woman attached to it. <laughs> yeah, your coffee's better. <laughs> I, I circle. I, I love yeah, you. She, so she's, I over, I love. she's not listening to the show because I'm in the Holler at her. Say, Vinny says he loves you. Vinny's blackmailing me to tell you things over the radio now. He's bullying me. I'll Do it. You, don't tell me what to do. Do it now. <laughs> he's, well, now he's ordered me to do it, so you know <laughs> I ain't going to do it. Oh, please. You got to stand my ground. Please, oh, there's please. some things in life you got to prove. Do and... it, please. <laughs> She'll hear the rerun. Don't worry about no! it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Vinny says he loves you, Circles. Uh, oh, I love you too, Vinny. There you uh, go. All right. I gave uh, in. I did I did exactly what I said I wouldn't do. See, thanks. just like see, everybody see, else. See how that works? The difference because, between threatening and trying to use force is the opposed to the... Yeah, well, you. when you ask nicely, and how, what, how am I going to be mean to that? About a, a nice thing to say to my wife. Oh, then I'd really be it. But when you're telling me to do shit, I ain't going to do it. I don't I'm care what it does. I'm the same. Mm. I think we're in a room of people that basically carry that particular idea around in a pocket. And they take it out when they think it's necessary, but they don't use it all the time. I don't. <laughs> you know yeah you, but i'm i think i i well maybe it's just you know how you look at yourself is different than how other people see you you know you don't need to be consciously aware of i'm doing this but you have to you have to know what you're doing you know to be in, in control is uh it's an illusion for one because Somebody can change your mood in a matter of seconds with an action or a word. So you got to be in control of yourself and not let other people do it. It's a tough world out there. So I don't know what anybody's ever fucking saying to me. So how the hell can I ever get mad at them? <laughs> yeah. What? What the fuck? And even if they do, if I... If I'm going to go out in the world and let words drive me to violence, then I must be a fucking idiot. Words are powerful, you know. Yeah, but if you're going to be so weak as to let words drive you to physical violence, then there's something lacking in your character. You don't have the ability to think a situation through. That happens a lot. That's how we're taught. That's how society operates. That's what I always tell you. If we lived in an honest society as opposed to a dishonest one, we would get the opposite results of what we get. We get this because we're all fucking lying all the time. And how I mean it... A lot of people... What? 
a lot of people, I think, uh, especially inside these uh, finger quote movements, uh, probably are getting paid to do some of this stuff. Well, that's part of what I call the 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 lie is the foundation of our fucking money source. So if you're a billionaire, right, you can do things that regular people can't do, and. <clears throat> It's insane. They've got the whole game is all rigged to keep the billionaire where he's at and keep everybody else slaving to keep this fucker a billionaire. And me, I'm personally fucking tired of it all. What if, See, what seen if, enough. What if you could get a, be a billionaire? I wouldn't want to be. No, 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 no. no. I want, no, I want <clears throat> peace and quiet. I've got a nice little thing with Cirque. We're, we have a nice little comfortable place and it's very green if I want to see some cars, I can open up my window blind and look out on the street. You know, if I want to go to town, go to town and do whatever I please to do. It's nice. Though. Well, Very right, nice. but from what I've read on the internet and my last experiences <clears throat> back home, it wasn't so good where I'm from or where I've been. Hell, Scotland is. Uh, they've gotten some fucking rules. Well, Orkney doesn't consider their self part of the mainland Scotland thing but the Scots for some reason claim them it's kind of weird to explain <laughs> Rob works is giving me praise because I want to be a cunt troll no I just want to point out the similarity between the, <clears throat> those two words and their word control there's coincidence I wonder <laughs> I wonder wonder well, think about it. Life is whatever I want it to be for me. <clears throat> I want to grab this. I, I think I've got uh, what the link here. Yeah, this is a very interesting. Gary Hunt, he's uh, suspected of having been at uh, at Waco. Mm -hmm. And being the uh, that unknown uh, number two guy there in Oklahoma City, the guy with the trigger, um, He's involved up uh, with the Oregon, the Mayo uh, Wildlife Refuge standoff. So he says to me, because, uh, uh, and thanks to Juana Taco, by the way, Las Vegas, the Henderson Detention Center uh, as a First Amendment uh, audit. Um, I I'll have to look and see those guys' name. Let me see here. Just a sec. I got to copy the link to that and scroll up. Um. No, I can't see their name. Well, what do you? Uh, I have to open it. What but, do you? Uh, anyways, what do you expect to come of all this knowledge that you got from the Bundy thing? Uh, I, did it, I'm. Did it change it, you any, or are you still the same as you were before you started? Oh, I always change, and it's uh, you know, ever uh, up for progression, and for for change, for to be better, you know. Well, it we brought you back. That, it it brought you back where you started. Hey, mental. How you doing? Cakes just came in. Into the RLM? RLM, pool. yeah. The uh, Real Liberty Media Chat is where all the dorks go. Well, let's say, hey, Cakes. Yeah, the cool kids go to Starbucks and all the dorks go hang out on the Real Liberty Media Chat. <clears throat> and various other places where they congregate <clears throat> and discuss the important shit going on in their day. He's not here. Okay, or maybe so. they smoke dope. <laughs> I don't know. Drink coffee. Drink beer. Okay. So here we go. So I see you're doing a okay. study of government building architecture. Uh, a commendable vocation, he says. Now, so Gary, uh, it's being speculated that oh. he's a COINTELPRO, a spook. Uh, makes sense to me if he was. I, I talked to him on the phone uh, last year a couple of times. Um, very interesting. So, Kate, I gave her the link over for uh, the redacted uh, informants, uh, which Judge Brown in Oregon ordered that uh, Gary Hunt take down. He came along in the OMD. Uh, it's a uh, it's a militia group. I think it's OMD. If I was remembering that right, uh, he recorded a bunch of phone calls, and basically what we had there was uh, a bunch of uh, people trying to get people to do. And say things that would uh, categorize them as criminal. Uh, hi, Cow Cowboy Tech. Um, 
So that's what we're up against. We got FBI informants. That's why I've been taking a look at these FBI informants. And um, the one guy, Bill Fulton, I, I'm, uh, well, I tried to get his deck on book, and that's why I had an internet crash then. So I still have to get that, get in touch with his uh, publisher, and uh, I want to interview him. He, he was involved up there with the uh, uh, Schaefer Cox. Uh, a lot I need to learn about that. So that's something I'm going to be doing and picking up on uh, what I've already done. And trying to refine that and tell the, tell the truth and what it is we're addressing here. And mainstream media has failed to do that. And they're praised for their lies by their fellow uh, prostitutes, uh, paid propagandists. So that's, that's where I've uh, grown. That's where I've learned. That's where I've come to on my trip. I, I've seen how it's really done out right. there in the world. Okay, so now that you, you know the difference between real news and fake news, is that what you're saying? Mm, not always. But. Well, how, okay. How, how would somebody like me that doesn't really believe much of any of it anyway, how would I tell the difference between real and fake? Well, I say that uh, to to know how the story, you, to know the story, you got to kind of start at the end. You got to see who's telling it and why they're telling it. Got take a look at the rhetoric and and see where that comes from, and, and realize that. Uh, they probably want to be in control of how the story ends, right? Um, th there's a pattern, and, and then it's if you're in social media, you'll see how that's spread and propagated too. This is the I call it call it um, uh, kind of like parrot people, right? Parroting these ideas. Mm. So I stand back and I watch the trend and uh, see where that comes from. Looking just looking at the headlines, like uh, how. Uh, he'll pull the notice out of the news, right, every Sunday right here on RealLibertyMedia.com. Uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty good perspective of, to know what's really going on. Yeah, it's but not what, it, what how do you – all right. right, but still, but how do you – what do you judge it by? What do you, how do you gauge something, just by the way you feel about it or you use no. your common sense? I mean, what what tools do you use – because you can't speak for anybody but yourself, bonehead. Yeah, so as a ponder gander, right? That's what I like to call uh, the one of the other me's. Mm. Uh, yeah, to ponder, to think, and to look at it. Yeah, uh, well, to ponder does not mean you're trying to find an answer. It just means you're sure. thinking about something. People well, don't define words. They don't, you know, they I don't understand why... <laughs> So few people take a, a few minutes to look up what a word really means and find out what we're saying to each other. It's amazing. We've been taught a bunch of crap that's not right. Do you believe it? I don't I don't think so. I think I tolerate a lot in life because it's getting me a, it's it's a survival technique. What about the true stuff? Oh, the true stuff, it's too big to do anything about uh, on an individual level. You need a group. And I don't join groups, so I'm kind of stuck. It's hard to imagine how to overcome. And the, a lot of people don't see the oppression. Some people see the, the oppression on one group of people, and then when it's applied to another, it's okay. And that, and that takes your mind off the way it's done through the food and the energy sources. You don't hear a lot of people complaining about, oh, we got 440 megahertz or 440 hertz instead of uh, 432 hertz <laughs> to deliver the sound to us so that we'll absorb it properly. But people don't know. And the ones that do know sound like a bunch of weirdos to the ones that don't know. Grimner got me in the chat. Like I it, just did to you because you're probably not paying any attention at all. Oh. I was breaking up some weed and uh, scratching my ear and trying to put my headphone back on and trying to bang this duck. Because I am tw Twacy. Dork Twacy. <laughs> that's why. Well, apparently that's why you're at the dork table. But... All right, things that start out and you see them with your own eyes. Let's use a biggie like 9-11. I call yep. 9-1-1. I call 9-1-1 in Vegas. That's not what I mean, you bonehead. I was talking about the day they took down the two and a half towers. 
that was amazing. Well, yeah, and then real recently, <clears throat> this new study, this this is the con, these fucking monkeys, they think we're all fucking idiots, but they're, they've got a new study that doubts the original official government story. <laughs> is it the one that uh, Grimner was talking about? I have no idea what Grimner was talking about, but I, I know which one I'm talking mm-hmm. about, so, or, or so I did. <laughs> That's what I mean. The government will mm-hmm. always do this to us. <clears throat> is it the, e- what? Is it a big word? The government. It's an all-inclusive. Every one of them. The one Who's I, at the, the top? Who's at the top of all government? No, no. Who's on top? Of who's what? on first? Who's on first? Oh, probably Israel. <laughs> I don't know. Well, my personal thing, I think it's third the, uh, base. I think it's the U.S., Saudi Arabia, the Vatican, and the Jews all working together to do this to us all. Wherever the big money's at is usually where the wherever the direction is coming from. And for some reason, why the Germans and the English have taken their self in a whole lot of foreigners. Oh my god. Foreigners even France. How about fiveners. Yeah, France and Germany and England are uh, and Sweden up to their what, eyeballs in furners. What about sixners? Well, yeah, but you know what people don't ever talk about? Ever. And I've I've yet to see a link posted about it by anybody. Is how the fucking um, furners became furners to move them to England and France and Germany in the first place. Okay, I've got to go get this link over here on YouTube. Uh, oh, he's making the funny sound with the computer, too. What, are you playing yes. some kind of game or something? You listen, dark? listen to me. I've got to tell you uh, this. The, oh, the, okay. uh, the count has been censored. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talking about count four, count five, six, four, yes. five, six. I have no idea what the hell you're talking. Counting, about. yes. Counting. Oh, stop. Oh, you're counting something. Why are you count? Oh, this thing stop. Count Is it, Vinny. Can you hear it? Stop. No. Stop. Mm-hmm. Please, there. Okay, stop. I hear nothing. Okay. But any, anyhow, what? I'll go get the link. Why? Why you're talking? I was still saying is while all these problems exist in society, the one problem that started the whole fucking thing off in the first place is ignored and nobody ever just says anything about it. What's but that? They, the violence that they fucking started with. You know, how do you come you think there are so many people that are immigrants, man? Because they got bombed out of where they lived. Foreigners and fiveners and sixers. Okay, something like that. Ah, D.C., London, and the Vatican. Okay, well, Rob works. I I add Saudi Arabia to this because of the money, because of the control and the oil and the results of how I see the game being played out before me. Not everybody shares my unique perspective of world domination. (laughs) But, yeah, it looks like America's trying to dominate the globe and pretend they're not. All right, I dropped it into the chat right there. there yeah, but did you drop the it count? into the toilet? No, no. You can you can do that. Listen, count. the count yeah. has been censored. Yeah, this is, this is headlines, man. It's High original. headlines. Count's been censored. Yeah. Well, when I'm supposed to open a link while I'm doing radio, what are you insane? Have you lost your way? That, that has nothing to do with anything. Have you ever personally met your? <laughs> anyway. What do you want to argue about, Vinny? We haven't had a good fight in a long time. You want to argue uh, about something? Yeah, your mommy used to dress you funny when you was a little boy. I, I miss my mom now. Oh, thanks, fucker. Yeah. Mom, <laughs> yeah. Well, she, she, died, I, she, she died on the first of the I miss, year. I miss my mom, too. Yeah, and that's strange. You know, all the time that I was alive, I didn't miss her. I went, oh, hey, mom. <laughs> And now she's gone again. Hey, wait. Oh, yeah, you're gone now. <laughs> Talking to myself like an old man. <laughs> because, yeah, she's poof. Wonder where she went. 
I haven't got an email or anything yet, but if I do, I'll be telling you about it. <laughs> don't, don't expect one. I don't know. I think I cut ties with the dead while I, you know, when I'm living, while I'm living. Yeah. I remember them momentarily, but like they, I don't dream about them or have scary nightmares about you know dead people attacking all that kind of weird shit you see on TV. Does that ever? burrow into your head so that you go out and you have a nightmare because you watched a TV movie about a nightmare? <laughs> no, I don't yeah. watch like uh, the real creepy. Uh, oh, you got your limits? Yeah, yeah, like... All right, uh, so gauge people it. People like, that... Yeah, you like ever, if, if you like I, kill this guy that is like trying to kill you and then like you don't like to like put two more in his head, you know, and he comes back and kills you, that sort of thing. Well, have right. you ever seen, like, Silence of the Lambs from start to finish? Is that kind of violence, or...? Uh, you know, I, I actually, I didn't watch Silence of the Lamb for, uh, like, ten years after it came, until, like, ten years until after it came out. Well, it was really a promotion for the FBI to get women in, into the FBI. <laughs> that makes sense. Disguised, yeah, disguised as an entertainment tool. But, no, nah, they said that after they saw Starling talk to Hannibal that the uh, FBI females started coming out of the woodwork. Really boosted up their uh, females trying to get in. They got a new show coming out on mainstream. Uh, it's ABC probably, I think, uh, called the FBI. It's a, <laughs> a propaganda piece. Yeah, it's to you know, build them up, look, make them look like the, the good yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, I, I've seen how the FBI works, part of, in part, anyways. You know, I dealt with uh, Ryan English in Denver, the uh, FBI in charge, you know, had some conversation with him. Um, we see how they uh, they use FBI for infiltration and to facilitate crime instead of seeking peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. they, the FBI ought to be going to these people that are, uh, many of them locked up as political prisoners because they seek uh, to, to uh, make a change in, in, in injustice and in the way they see the system running. Right or wrong, uh, they still, it is not like they're endeavoring to mit, commit crime for uh, personal enrichment, but uh, fighting the system. So in a case like this, in a case like the Bundys, uh, uh, others, you know, Schaefer Cox, let's say, for instance. So that, this is a upcoming topic for me. Really, I know very little about him. Uh, like Bruce uh, Du said, I knew very little about him when I went to Denver. Um, but I do know what I encountered there, and that was straight up a mask over um, what is supposed to be called uh, justice and, and uh, freedom uh, in the, the court system. And it's a farce. It's hidden and it's corrupted and codified and uh, controlled by by the Bar Association. And it's uh, it's something that's very tough that uh, uh, people are, are up against in in. And it puts on that face again, this face, this was a propaganda of uh, portrayal of, of right and just. And we see it, you know, on the TV and, and perverted. Movies. Yeah, perverted and lied about in every possible way. Misrepresentation be, beyond what you can understand. Absolutely. Because <laughs> it, it cuts so deep if you're a believer that your, your core would sh be shocked. No, my government wouldn't do that to me. I know from experience, because I too once thought, "Oh, the government won't do that." I'm a, I belong, you know, I belong here. I'm, I'm an American, <clears throat> and boy, what I found out was, no, nah, the state wants everything, and what you, and the state wants more than you even would believe they want. You want it all. It, yeah, whatever all is, they're, and they're going to get it. They're going to breed it like this gun law thing. That, that, to me now, is so hysterical because they'll just breed it out of the kids at school. Yeah, that's right. They won't have to make a gun law. They'll just turn the kids, as they're growing up, against the gun. And then, of course, they have their built-in divide and conquer right there because you're going to have some parents that aren't stupid that are going to teach the kids about guns. Because and those, their, and, their kids will then be the, the fringe nuts. Right, but, okay, th that's what they'll say, but the truth <laughs> is still going to always be the truth. And we come from a gun culture. No matter how you slice this cake, whether you're for them or you're against them, 
I grew up when you could run around with a fucking gun, and that, that was like, oh, it's not safe to do that around the kids. But people didn't get physical about it. Now, things have changed a little bit, and you have this all this gun rights and stoop, just stupidity overflowed all over. The, it's made a big shit pile. I think that's, uh, what, that's what I see. I think sling blades coming. How so? Oh, I think I hear him riding his lawnmower. Oh, you got a neighbor that has a sling blade? Is he gonna uh, chop you up in the middle of the night and go to prison? I hope he brought biscuits. Ah, uh, the. I thought you were living on your own, and then you're still eating them with the neighbors. Yeah, that too. He's bringing. <laughs> he's bringing the knocking the chigger trail down. Ah, oh, good for you. How close to outside are you? Um, sent by the winder. You got a door? Uh-huh. Right behind does, me. Does it open and close? Uh-huh. Does it got a winder in it? <clears throat> yeah. Wow. You're living the life. He left it running. How, how far He's outside? Coming in. Hey, how bring far? that boy in here! Yeah, but how far outside do you got to look before you see other people on oh. a normal basis? Always. Logan, come here! Hmm. Will you stop yelling in the headphones set, you idiot? Those are my ears. Hey. You know, yelling in the headphones doesn't make them hear you any better. This ain't mine, dude. Come here. This is for micro, dude. Hey. Dork table alert. Dork table alert. Well, We're sinking like, like a stone. This is a micro. It might be Kevin's I don't, or Sheena's. <laughs> I don't have a micro, man. Hey, I'll put it in cords. What are you doing? Thanks for the strip. Huh? Thanks for the strip. Strip? Yeah. The mo. Oh, yeah, no problem. Hey, uh, did you bring biscuits? I said you was sling, sling blade. Come here, come here and talk to po Man, folks out here. Listen. Come back in a minute. No, come here. No, Go get Logan. Come, on, come, on. come back. <laughs> Train wreck, boy. Are you done yet? <laughs> no. You, hi you hijacker of. Ah, Logan. He can't hear hey, me. The running. Oh, too bad. Can you wave? Yeah, but he won't see me. He's riding on the tractor uh, with his daddy. You got a perverted sense of living alone. I'll tell you that. <clears throat> what do you mean? You're confusing me. People that live alone don't usually have other people talking in the background. They live oh. alone. He came down. He's engaged. Like I played. said, maybe it's just my perverse way of looking at what I'm, you know, hearing. But I live. It's kind of tribal type of deal here. You might describe it. This is the um, big property. You, you and I joined got a cult? And... No. no. Oh, they wouldn't let just you like... in the cult. Yeah, they, no, we're just like friends, you know. So you're like a hanger like family. on for friends like, like family, you know. Do they do they kick you and make you go get the beer? <laughs> Every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> we, you get your patch in a year, right? <laughs> oh, just speaking of patches, so they passed medical it. marijuana here in yeah. Arkansas before so, I left. Yeah. And yeah, there's still no prescriptions, no dispensaries, you know. Uh, uh, gross centers and yeah, they'll fuck you in the price anyway. It won't matter. Oh yeah, yeah. But so, yeah, yeah, hopefully let's make it uh, legal, yeah. but financially out of out of reach for the for the common guy. We'll just make it affordable for wealthy people. You like mustard on your biscuit? Uh, -huh. uh no, <clears throat> I, I sure like, don't. Like, mustard on my biscuits. Oi. I don't know, since Cirque broke her fingers, she's been on baking hold. Because, you know, working with that dough and all that with your hands is harsh. Uh huh. So, yeah, well, she crippled herself pretty good with Hannah. Ooh. Wow, yeah. Yeah, well, the fingers are straightened out and she can use them again, but not to the extent of the day before she broke them. <laughs> it probably will never be that good again. Poor thing. My crippled wife. Oh. <laughs> You better be oh, nice or I'll, I'll wish you into the cornfield. I got this killer one. What do you, what do you got? Oh, that you got something to smoke. Yeah, this uh -oh. is uh -huh, this is a live on the dark table. Got, we have 
Vincent doing his green thing all over you. This is that last little piece of that really yum yum stuff. That was a commercial break for the hearing impaired. So yeah, what, yeah. what do you okay? What do you expect to get for yourself? I mean, I realize that nobody, not even me, does something for a year and a half without a goal. I mean, oh well, uh, according to uh, um, let's go find him. The truth hurts on Twitter. See, yeah. accused me of uh, begging. <laughs> begging for, gas for what? Money. For gas. You? Money. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't see that, Vincent. Yeah, I uh, I asked for Jamie for trying to help him get funded. You know that Jamie and uh, Elaine they spent a lot of time uh, dedicated to uh, to live streaming and uh, being uh, actual physical service to uh, those involved there, uh, putting up the signs and all that stuff every day. Um, some great great folks. My angels actually they rescued me out of the desert after my first uh, uh, eleven days. So uh, I had, what, 39 days, I call it 40 days in the desert, uh, 28 the second time, but uh, re really aw awesome people. But anyways, um, and, and up in Denver, so we left on a wing and a prayer, and uh, the parking was like, I think the cheapest you get from 12 is 12, 16 bucks a day, and so I did ask for a little help uh, there as uh, brands money. Is he set up a PayPal and he had all that money and couldn't get access to it and uh, so I ran through the money that I had there and you know was uh, um, uh, he he proposed it and I said yeah well I could use a little bit uh, so anyways yeah that that uh, I got it from friends I'm not gonna say who uh, wow that was a mouthful case. but Vinny I've I've done you know I've known you and when you were back. Back in the world, tra world truth days, and I offered you stuff that you refused. So no, you're not a beggar. I know that from experience. You know, because you had a computer problem, and I said, "Look, I'll buy you one of these," and you said, "No, no, I'll, I'll take care of this myself," and that was that. So no, mm. you That's guys got me that sound thing too, though. Uh, I've got it right here in front of me, actually. Well, yeah, I've got to get that, with Grimner this week and see if we can't um, set me up uh, techno in here, run back through all this stuff. And uh, That was what I mean. That was different. You, because you, you, I offered you be, before you took that. That, you know, you saved it for when you needed something. It wasn't like, well, I'll just take advantage because it's available. No, you, you kept the, the favor until you actually needed it and then you used it. And that's kind of what so, I did with the gas money. You know, people had yeah. uh, so, offered well, to it, give me money before there, and I said, no, I don't need it. But if I do need it, then, you know, maybe maybe well, then. Uh, yeah, you're, so. you're, you're important enough in that, in that whatever reality that is, is people are trying to drag you down in it. So that's a good thing. Well, you, you know, I ran, this, I ran this whole trip with uh, um, just on, what could you call it, faith? Yeah, uh, I've. Glad yeah, from you, I'd call it that. Along yeah. the way. Uh, yeah. And when I when we jumped out and headed to Denver from Vegas to go up to uh, Bruce Doucette's trial, Rand Thornton and I, um, man, it was just like, okay, let's go. It was bam, just like that. Uh, and and uh, I, I tested God, let's say, along the way. You know, you have to make it happen and stuff. So, uh, And guide my path. I'd look for crumbs to know that uh, uh, or, or signs that says I was following the, the right way. And yeah, I feel if, what I if did you, if you look for right, but whatever you look for, if you're really looking, you'll find it. Whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is. I wasn't going looking for nothing. Sure, you I, were. You just said you spent you spent this time. You put your faith in your thing, and you went and did it. That's what yeah, I'm saying. To see what I would see. I you didn't go look. Find if you can't accomplish found. you can't accomplish this shit if you don't get off your duff and go out and try it. <laughs> but the trust thing, I don't. I don't know. I don't share that part with you. Trust? Trust is amazing. The life is going to go wherever life is going to go. And we well, think we're driving when we're not driving. It's a ride. You can tell you're going in the right direction when you're on if the you, road. If you start veering if off, you like feel on that way about it. Highways, you get these. 
<laughs> you know, if you're in the back roads, you're crashing through fences, dude. Okay. If you so, feel that way about it, yeah. Well, some people if, like if crashing you're through astray, fences. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, at least to destruction, right? Not a <laughs> path. We want to be Wonder able if... to pass one another in peace. You know why we drive on the wrong side of the road in America? It's a punishment. We it put our our a bearing arms side to the outside. Where, where you couldn't bear your arms in passing. You know, you better put up your left hand. So, mm -hmm. Well, what if you're left-handed? Well, then you're an anomaly anyways. <laughs> then your theory's kind of weak. <laughs> no, no. Uh, it's a good people, story. No, no, it's a, it's a true story. Oh, like the middle finger is a true story? F you, man. Well, do you know where that story's supposed to have come from? There's different, uh, there are different uh, stories in that, and different uh, pronunciations for it as well as the thumb, you know, to the tooth, and uh, many others, the fist pump, <laughs> thumb and the tooth. Yeah, that's Italian, right? Yeah. And the middle tooth. finger is English, and what else do we got? What yeah. other universal insults do we have? You know, I'll tell you what I've learned in Denmark is if you fucking smile at people. They just smile back at you, or they look the fuck away. There's no third choice on that. So that's, that's communi universal. Communicating is just gets us in all this trouble, Vinny. <laughs> it really does. I I like to smile at people, but Dude. you know, if you go to a big city and you look at somebody and smile. Most of the time, the reaction is is. Oh my God! What do they want? You know, or do you, do you do it with a big set of pink bunny ears on? <laughs> Never and you smile, and then you're big. You're like what, six foot something? Me? No. What do you? You got to be six foot tall, no? No, I'm like uh, six nine. No, what? Yeah. How say that in English? Um. How many centimeters? I don't know. Like a, you're like a giant. All right. So I'm 5'4". <laughs> I'm, so I'm not really. Six, yeah. <laughs> no. What are you about? Six foot? No. My dad was six foot. My son was over six foot. So, but no, I didn't My like little him. brother's over six foot. I, I dwarfed. I was a premature baby and I never grew into my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever wear like those platform shoes? No. Really? I'm too small for, yeah, I'm just too small. Dude, back in, the, back in the 70s, dude, I had the platform shoes on, the belt bottoms, the psychedelic colors and all this, you know. Like. You, well, I've been a long-haired freak for a while. Can't help it. This is what I do. <laughs> I'm Mr. Yeah, Mr. Denim. Even <laughs> my wife, my, my wife was talking about that the other day because of the Trump tariffs <laughs> hit. They're going to hit here and the price of is going to go up. What is going to go up? The, the price, price of Levi's. <laughs> Levi's? Because of one of Trump's tariffs. Yeah, they got all this tariff war going on. And, and if that's the only place it's going to affect me financially, I don't give a shit because I can wear something else. I'm not stuck on it, but I've been doing it my life. <laughs> I, 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 I think my uh, that was probably the first thing. First story I heard about clothes was my dad had to get me a pair of Levi's when I was little. And I was really, really little. <laughs> a friend of mine that I grew up with when I was uh, part of my younger life, uh, he went to Paris and he traded Levi's to a girl for uh, certain things. Yeah. yeah. I took a whole, well, I must have took 40 pairs to London one t one trip. In really? One, <laughs> one size, 32, 32. Yep. One size, one style. The straight leg, boom. I couldn't hold on to them. And I had a, bunch of uh, football hats too oh uh, yeah yeah i was that surprised might... that at customs they didn't ask me why i had all <laughs> the brand new stuff in my suitcase they just opened it looked at it closed it how much did you my, get i 30 pound a pair really so, so whatever the dog the, it was like a cheap. dollar a, yeah well this is back in 1990 huh? what the hell 90 91 i think no 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 it had to be late yeah 90 90 or 91? I can't remember now. I think it was 91. So 30 pound in 1991 was a lot more powerful than it is now. 45 bucks? Mm-hmm. For a pair of pants. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, uh, when it was in the 80s, he's getting like, uh, I don't know, like 
a whole lot worth on it. That's when you could get Levi's for probably like twenty bucks, and I think he's a hundred or something. It was the good old. I mean, a pound a, a compared pint to of, a pint of lager was like a pound twenty. So, I could have I could go out and spend ten pound drinking and just get trashed. <laughs> so I lived pretty good on the the amount of money that I would, was. Cause, well, I traded stuff to get the pants in the first place. I think I had forty pair. I remember way back when, before I was even legal, going to Pioneer Club in Vegas and playing quarter uh, uh, craps. Oh, you gambling. Yeah. Okay, you for twenty bucks, dude. I get ripped. I drink a bud in a bottle. Back when I, I liked the American beer, now it's like piss water. But yeah, and tipping a buck every beer, playing quarter craps. It was fun for a while. I was nineteen. Mm. Yeah, I got to gamble with my brother when I was younger in Lake Tahoe. That was fun. One of the better memories of of him. You know, me and my brother get along, then we don't get along, then we get along, then we don't get along. It's it's one of those kind of deals. But he was he was uh, working at Carlos <laughs> Murphy's in Lake Tahoe, and I was gonna pa- pass through town. So he said, "Hey, come on over. We'll go. Right on. We'll go to Harris and we'll play cards." And I think I had like twenty dollars, or I was broke, cash broke, and on the road. So I'm just going through any damn way. And me and my little brother sit down at this table and played all damn night and won. We actually won and cashed out in the morning ahead. And <laughs> the, just one of the the few uh, the few times that that I went to play in in Tahoe and actually didn't didn't lose it. What I went to play with, because gambling in the casinos is a hard job. It's hard to walk away when you are ahead. There's no win in a casino. Every once in a while, you get lucky. I've, That's what I said. I, yeah. me and my brother did it, but <laughs> mm-hmm. if I go alone, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I won Keno before for a few hundred bucks. That's what yeah, uh, small that's stuff. what paid for my camping trip out into the desert in 2011. Uh, that was I've, uh, that was right up by the Bundys. No, I I once financed a girl's dildo business playing slots. <laughs> what? At the uh, I think it was the Flamingo. No, not the the Sahara. When the Sahara was on Sarah Boulevard, way back. And there was a Denny's on the other side of the freeway. Hmm. It's like, wow, I don't know how many years ago. Back back again, 98, 90, something like that. Maybe 99. But we were short money. I had so much money. So I said, well, let's drive out. And the place was in Las Vegas in the first place. So I said, well, I'm going to take a part of the money and I'm going to try to double the original amount. To do, to make the investment better, and it worked. <laughs> Even had extra money for gas and everything. It was really nice. I won. <laughs> hey, guess who's here? Uh I forgot the name. Sir Hans a lot. Ah, there he is. I think we should make him like the Mayor McCheese of the R L and M. Yeah, I love that idea. Because he wants to be in charge of something. So let's make him in charge of something very important, like recruiting. <laughs> well, we're going to have to add to his name. It's your, it's your uh, like, don't Hans make it too Bagel. difficult. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Mayor McHansel Cheese. What are we going to call him? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just want to see a video of the, of one of the stories he tells on the RLA. I just want to see one link to to back it up with. Can, can you that, read what he's posting? My, no, I I've got him on Iggy. See, you're missing so much. I can't help it. He just irritates me, so I just get in arguments about stupid shit, and it doesn't matter any fucking way. Hi, Hans. Oh yeah, hey Jew Dread, how the fuck are you, baby? What's a cringe anyway, fest? What's a what? A cringe fest. I have no fucking clue. Nor do I care. <clears throat> what do I care about today? Hmm. What happened? Let's see. <laughs> today was very uneventful in Denmark. I went to get some smokes. Did you flash went, anybody? Flashed everybody. 
Hey. It's what I do. I'm a flash. <laughs> flash man do. <laughs> well, it was, it's starting, to, the summer's over now. It's getting to be the cooling off period before winter time. Oh, it's been some nice weather here. Yeah. Lots yeah. of rain, though. Man, yeah. and I had some thunder strikes. It was just like right outside my door. Really? Yeah. Boy, you get hit by lightning, you'll never forget <clears throat> it. I've met a few people. I think uh, Grammy Mary's <clears throat> been hit by lightning on the really? RLM. Yeah. I've listened to other people tell those stories, and the similarity between them is very frightening. Because I've never, I've been blown off a, a <clears throat> electrical wall, you know, electrical box, but never got hit by lightning. Thank goodness. Well, I don't know. It was a, it, it was a like a private job. I was working with an electrician, <clears throat> and of course, me and Brian, well, we smoked on the way to, and sometimes at, and sometimes on the way home. And he sent me on this job, and I. And I got to the room and I couldn't remember. He said, don't mess with this light or pull this light. And it was don't. Because <laughs> when he came in the room, he, the first thing he said was, oh, you you found out how welding was invented, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. blew, a, blew a hole about the size of a dime through my needle nose. Well. Yeah, but I'm like a cat. You know, I'm small and, and quick and all that. And it just ended up on some carpet rolling around with a pair of you know, needle nose that were <laughs> slightly burnt. I was working a electrician uh, in Fort Worth. It was a carpet cushion. You, to, you know, the big, huge pads of foam. They'd recycle all these foam things from Nerf footballs to whatever and, and uh, make carpet cushion. And I was up on top of a ladder and it blew up in there. I forget. It was, uh, I think, three phase. Wow. Oops. Well, well Pam, yeah, so I went, they, jumped. I landed on my feet. And and it's shit like that that sells the idea of people buying insurance, <laughs> because that was my own fault. That wasn't anybody's fault but mine. What happened to me? All I had to do was just double check and ask. But nah, I, was that I a thought drone? I heard. Was that that a was drone? a now that was a speed bike. <laughs> try, Becky, because. Our house, the back of the house faces the main street, and the front of the house is in the backyard. It's a beautiful setup. Guess who's here? Becky, I am. I, hey, Becky. I haven't seen Becky for many days. She got married. She did. Yeah, they, she got married with somebody, and mm -hmm. that, that was that. You go off, you get married, and you go find things to do and places to go and whatnot. Unless you're gainfully employed and you, you know, you got a computer at work and all that. <laughs> There's all kinds of ways to beat the game. Yeah. And I'm all for beating the game. Hey, Becky. We I, are. We I are. Just, I just saw her on the text because yes. there's the delay with the radio. So uh -huh. I always forget who goes first, them or us. It's probably, the, it's probably us, but they don't hear it for a minute after we said it. Uh, yeah, and I'm the yeah, do it might be like forty-five seconds. Yeah, <laughs> we we didn't fit we didn't fit you up with a a funny name. No kidding, not me. It's twelve twelve. Is it twelve twelve? Uh, I got nineteen thirteen. I wonder why the uh, the minutes off. Because of the climate change. <laughs> climate change. Come on, you you got to be smarter than that climate change listen i'm going to tell you one thing what it is hotter these days mm -hmm. than it was when i was younger that's okay fact. all right and what exactly if you move around as much mm -hmm. as you've been moving or all right, were you born and raised where you're standing right now no okay then what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> it's hotter these days wait a minute wouldn't you have to live where you were born and raised the whole fucking time to know whether it's hotter there or not? Or no. Just going if, off the if, news? If, I'm, if I've lived in all these different places, I've lived a lot of places, dude. Mm -hmm. But, you know, basically... I'm I, in Denmark, I, Vinny. In between, hello. A, between a couple of places. You know, Vegas yeah. is my second home since 1969. And yeah. Oklahoma and Arkansas is my um, origin home. Uh, what about Tennessee? Where I spent a lot. 
Uh, that's where my family came from in 1850 to Arkansas. Because that's where you were at. I saw yeah. you on the interwebs yeah. out there I, dancing in the graveyard. The Easleys were the first uh, white people there in 1780, settled yeah. where Kingsport is. So what, big, do you, uh, what do you do? You sit around in a big circle and pass a big bag of drugs, and then you, you, you sit in that cemetery I, and I did a, shit. I did a ceremony for um, uh, a, a slave grave, possible. I, I'm pretty sure it was a slave grave. And then also maybe uh, um, with this other one, I don't know. It was very ancient. But I did give uh, uh, some herb to that. And I had some Indian bones that came from uh, Virginia. Uh, and I, I re-interned them you know, back uh, on, a, on a pass overlooking the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, with uh, along with some offering there as well. Uh oh. Well, I was reading the chat. What happened? Who's in prison? Becky's new husband. What? Oh, I'm reading the chat. <laughs> I'm just telling you, her new husband is in prison. She's going to take a trip on the. I think break. unless that's great. Wait, that might be Hansel saying it. Hold on. A no, she says my new husband. And uh. Hmm. That can't possibly be good. Wow, she's making a hell of a trip, Colorado then to Cali. Oh yeah, I drove. I drove from the Colorado. What was it? I guess Colorado Utah border down to Vegas one time. Whew, that was crazy. Day. How much time does that do? I don't know. And yeah, we got the chat that? right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Apparently, asking. Becky. Well, why would she go to California? I don't know. <laughs> More questions than answers. Well, we'll we'll see for answers to come. And they're talking about the new world, old new. Wait, the new old new world truth being. Yeah, back. I, I need to see if I can sign on here and save this link somewhere because it'll that be is, so buried in bookmarks that. Uh, yeah, th I believe they're gonna shut down the Freedoms Network. Uh -huh. On the end of of August, they're shutting it down. They're going to discontinue it, and I believe, unless I'm wrong, then they'll correct me on the RLM. That the World Truth will be the new project that Bo Bo's going to put his attention into and build from there. They're going to build, 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 build. Invalid. Well, See? the the strange part about all this, right, is they're gonna they're gonna claim that. Uh, what is that? Facebook is going to disintegrate, and it's not. It's going to be there. It's not going to be as powerful, whatever the fuck that is. But it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to still be there. It holds too many hostages. Too many people use it. Wow! Stop that! You're driving me crazy. You know, Man, I got per I'm I got personal online friends that use Facebook, and I'm anti Facebook. But they're my uh, I, friends. So you know what my friends do? It's peeing me off, man. I see that. You know what my friends do, though? What? My real friends just say, well, that's the way you see it. And they go on with life and let me complain. Because they know what I'm talking about. Now it says but, I provided an invalid email. I don't know I what I'm talking know. about. Oh, man. Oh, somebody boy. trying to pick on you? Is somebody trying to fight, start a fight with you, Vinny? I'm just close huh? to that. Huh? You guys might not see me at World Truth too much. So I can get in there. Oh, uh, we'll see. You'll figure it out. Quit doing it yeah. when you're doing radio, you bonehead. You have enough trouble doing the, doing the computer when you're not on a radio. Who are you trying to impress? Huh? 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 18 months. 18 fucking months. So they do, what, 80%? What do you think? 20 uh, to 33. Okay. Oh, okay, it's, that's right. Yeah, depends it if back it's federal. First. Oh, what well, sounds like something plentiful. Maybe 20 18. to 33? How do they get away with a gap like that? that is so That sounds like federal. Like, yeah, but that's so angry, you know, to have 13 months hanging at the end. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> Is it 20 or is it 33? Yes, it is. Well, which one? We'll tell you later. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't want to play with these fucking idiots. These psychos are deadly. 
They'll take your freedom in a split second and lock you in a cage like a dog without thinking twice about it. It's their, not their job to decide whether you're guilty of anything. It's their job to get you in a cage so somebody can decide if you're guilty of something or not. And that is a fucking game, people. <laughs> uh, right, Vinny? That's right. Thank Vinny. you for coming through Arkansas. Come by and see me. Keep on. Uh, a safe journey and stay in touch with us too. Oh Let's yeah, catch hey. on Facebook and uh, Twitter. Well, she says she's gonna go on a greyhound. Yeah. So. Oh, greyhound. Oh yeah. From Ca yeah, from Colorado to Cali. So no, she'd have to go uh, east to yeah. see you. Yeah, no, that don't work. Greyhound, no. boy, they are uh, pretty back young. out of that. Yeah. yeah. Say, I meant, I meant <laughs> well, but I was a bonehead and I shot my mouth off a little too soon. Yeah, that's right. I'm a bonehead. <laughs> I Shut my mouth off a little too soon. My next road trip, I'm going to do, I'm going to drive. But the truth about it is, if she was passing through and needed, uh, you would help. Yeah. That's the kind of people we are in this crazy room. Well, except Grimner, who's an isolationist. that will probably just shoot you if you knock too loud on his front door. Right, Grim? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's still mad at me for calling the second two songs last night. It, if yeah. this house if this house is a rockin', don't come a knockin'. <laughs> Whatever that was, that would sound like a drain. That's pretty good. Oh, you're very good with the impression. <laughs> no, you're you're not. Sometimes <laughs> you're funny sometimes, but man, you're you're not a good impressionist, Vincent. What can I tell you? I can imp I can do your verse, but, but you can't do mine. <laughs> You're talking to me all wrong here, first of all. Ah, well, you do that one pretty good. That, <laughs> the old Stallone. Uh. No, yeah, okay, Stallone. <laughs> can you imagine a world, a world where everybody talked like Sylvester Stallone? <laughs> That's <not> it. Uh. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> my friend of my brother's cab driver back in Vegas. He he talked like rock, yeah, yeah, like this all the time. Yeah, yeah. wow. Oh, uh, can I kill him? Shit. Can I kill him? Can I? Ah, I uh, what do you kill the duck? You're, I messed up. I'm not even gonna try. Kate, stupid duck lover. Ugh, can't believe. Wow, it. the violence in this. Yes. Movie. What yes. are we gonna do? So, are you are you a murder and killer, or are you just a killer killer? I kill ducks i hate ducks they're evil ducks? yes ducks ducks are bad anybody okay. that befriends a duck has never had an actual duck as a friend oh a duck is a friend i wouldn't even consider it as a friend i would just want to look at it when it went by when it comes to ducks i'm very specious well maybe because their instinct <laughs> is they know their food and that if they get too near you you're probably gonna eat them so I ate a duck this year on the verge. Ah, I did. Wow, uh -huh. you duckist. Yeah, when I spent my uh, sabbatical into the desert, when I was sheriff of Riverside. Ah, the sheriff of Riverside. California? <clears throat> no, Nevada. Riverside, Nevada? Yeah, oh, by hey, Bunkerville. Hey, hey. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm not... but see, they call it Bunkerville. It's actually Riverside. I'm not all that familiar with Nevada. So right. I think I was in Vegas and Reno, it's north Tahoe. Of north of Vegas. Yeah, no, I know where it's at. But right. I'm just saying that my trips to Vegas from L.A. were usually, you'd see Pahrump. <laughs> Over the hump. Hey, it's 12 Yeah, you see the, uh, uh, I already got my mind loaded. But you see the, the sign on the other side of the road say Pahrump, and the next thing you know, you're in Vegas. Over the hump in Pahrump. Hey man, you got to start somewhere. You don't I, uh, start at the top. You start at the bottom. One of uh, my oldest friends, who's uh, been dead for some years now, his uh, sister lives in Peru, and a no very, sure. very interesting greyhound story. That's why I love greyhound. It is such an adventure. Uh, you're apt to be broke down in a snowstorm. I was uh, over by Gallup. Uh, pfft, broke down a few times on. Uh, Graham. But listen, so I meet, I meet this guy, uh, uh, and I see on his birthday one day on Facebook, we've become friends, we met on Greyhound, and I see this name, and I sent her a message, I said, are you by chance Kenny's sister? Uh, 
and I had I'd lost contact with him for some years, and he had died during that time. But uh, yeah, somebody I met a perfect stranger turned out to be a, a very close family friend of uh, a, a friend of mine back when I was a, a teenager. Yeah. Six degrees of separation. It's uh, amazing. I, I love the way the universe flows for me. It's. Uh, hey, a couple of weeks satisfying. ago, I ran in. I ran into Americans here in in Freddytown that were on vacation. So the timing of the whole thing in itself was me being where they were at the same time was like, wow, how'd that happen? And who was it? They were a couple oh. and their daughter visiting from the states. Uh-huh. They were on a. They said they had a house trade, and this just happened to be where the house was. They didn't plan to go anywhere but to trade houses with somebody. Just- for just like a week or something, and with like with no yeah, and with no no clue where they were gonna end up, just that they know the house and the address and all that. It was <laughs> up to certain standards, yeah, but not know what part of Denmark they were gonna was gonna be available to them. So yeah, they ended cool. up. Here. It was just strange to hear American voices, and we're outside talking about this and that. And people are pleasant here, you know. They hear American voices, and they just leave you be to be american <laughs> they don't draw weapons and tell you to prove anything or nothing none of that shit becky's got her soundcloud up uh let me open that up so i'll have it come back to uh in history i really don't know what that means but you go right ahead if it makes you happy I'm doing it. Reality and Works by Ronnie and Becky by Becky Haynes. My, I'm not signed in there either. Everything is wow. all signed out, man. That's the way. See, that's the new slavery. You know, you're free to move within your cabin as soon as you give us this information. Period. It's always like that. It, it's not always been that way. To some degree, apparently it has for many years, but there was a time when all that crap never happened. But we're stuck with it now. I call it magic. Magic? Do when you I play the in little... magic? I no, but... believe. no, I don't, but I play along as though I do, but I let everybody know I'm kicking and screaming the whole fucking way. People that <laughs> understand me know what I mean by, oh man, the magic, woo. Hey, I think they, that was a, that was a simultaneous uh, tote. I'm telling you, <clears> I'm <throat> still yes. Uh, we we do things together on the dark table because that's the way it is. <clears throat> so, are you so, still fishing and hunting and killing things in your off time, or are are you just sitting around in your dead ass being a slug? No, uh, I haven't killed anything. So you're just eating regular old grocery bought food and whatnot? Yeah, and uh, actually yesterday, I think it was yesterday, or maybe the day before, I, I, I broke into my uh, my zombie apocalypse barrel. Yeah. So oh, your I mean, stash? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, you got to have uh, preparedness, right? Uh, Why? And other means of procurement. Because if things go bad one day, you know, the economic yeah. collapse or whatever, you want to be able yeah. to go out and eat squirrels and, uh, you know, make some mm. biscuits, you know, or dumplings, whatever. I don't. Oh, what are you going to eat? Your foot? No, I'll go down to the store and get some food. What if there is no food in the store? Why would that happen here? That could happen everywhere. And don't think it wouldn't happen there if it could happen anywhere. Well, right, and that's that's the threat that you live under, not the threat I live under. Yeah, you're under, under, but you're I, under the same threat. Let me tell you well, that. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, no. Because yes. I'd have to take it serious. Wait a minute. Let me tell you my side, Mr. No, Joe. I'm not going to. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Vinny. Go ahead. Everybody <laughs> else gets to say what they think. I'm buying well, up bubblers with Rob. Okay. I mean with Scubo. And, but I'm going to back up my my mentality with the, the lack of threat that I live among in the first Wait place. You, you're starting to scare me. How so? You said he's going to back up your mentality. Yeah, because these people are, they are the epitome of what I want. They're nonviolent hippies, <laughs> for the most part. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I have, I go into a bar and I have the bartender tell me her version of the, this is an atheist state, not city, not bar. So that most of the Danes are, are atheist. Most of, not I think that makes all. it better. No, no, no. She was letting me know where they stood because the, there's such a big church down at the in the middle of town. It's a huge church. Have you visited? No, but I pass by it every day to go Why? to the bar or the store or whatever I pass by it to go to. Where do you go to church? I don't. Why never. would I go to church? Oh, I'm, I'm off again. Not, no, I've, I've never willingly as a, a grown-up or a, as a young I was dragged to shit when I was like five and six by an aunt behind dad's back, but he caught her and it ended. But I didn't remember it. It's just way, way, way back. And since I've been an adult, it's very difficult to explain what I believe without insulting people. You know what I mean? Well... I guess it sounds arrogant, but I believe that you create your own damn life. Whatever you want to do is what you're doing. If you're doing it, it's because you want to do it. It ain't because somebody's telling you to do it. If that was the case, do it. You'd always no. You'd always be being told what to do. I choose not to live that way. I already have a conscience, so I know not to do certain things without being told not to do them. Would you? Beat somebody up and take their things from them? No, not even. What if you wanted them more than them? No, nah, I'm not that way. No, I mean really, really wanted it more than they do. Mm, I don't No, nah, I wouldn't resort to I'm too small, really, to resort to violence as a means of acquiring wealth in the first place. Did, did you watch Guardians of the Galaxy ever? Gar- no. Really? Was was I supposed to? Yeah, I was busy it's probably awesome, watching. Awesome, dude! It is. Awesome. I was watching yeah, Silence of the Lambs and Seven that night and missed it. Oh, I got it back together. Yeah. You ever see Seven? That was even. Yeah, creepier. that's not my kind of movie at all. That it's epic. Wow. Epic the, evil. How can why? anybody do some things like that? Because it's common. That kind of crap is not common, dude. <clears throat> no way. But the the people don't didn't. do that. And See, then... that's what that's what true insanity is: is thinking that what everybody else is doing is so much worse than what you're doing, when what you're doing is really worse. If you're cutting people's heads off and wearing them as a hat and driving through twelve hey. states, hey man, I don't know <clears throat> something. You know, I think it's intention. You know, whatever your truest, if you're in shit up to your eyeballs, maybe your truest intention was to do something fucked up. And if you're not in shit and you're in whatever the opposite of that is, maybe it's your intention. You got what you wanted because you were seeking it. That's what I think. I think people get the life experience that they're looking for at the time they're they're doing it. But maybe, maybe we're we're so convinced that things are out of our control and all this other shit that we're not aware how powerful we are as individuals. What would you do if you found out somebody you knew was like a serial killer? Like one how of do you mean characters? what would I do? Yeah, what would you do? How do you mean what would I do? That's well, a vague question. What would you do? You found out for sure. What are my choices? Well, your choices are whatever you choose to do. I can't tell you your choices. What would you do? Would you kill him, cut, uh, cut him up? Would you uh, lock him in a cellar? Or would you call the police? Uh, what would no, you do I'd with never, somebody like I'd that? Never call, I'd never call in authority about something, ever. I don't care what it is. So what would you do? You found out I, somebody you knew was like a, a hmm. serial killer, had people in, in the basement, chopping pieces of them off, torturing them. And... See, those kind of circumstances would never happen to me to, to find well, you, that out you in the first you can't, place. Unless we're really, you know, just going Well, out. you're talking about going. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to my neighbor's house, and he's going right. to take me down the basement where the dead mm-hmm. people are being cut up. Yeah, yeah. In this neighborhood, like, you, you can't. 
It's like, hey, buddy, gross. look what I'm doing here. Do you like to join in and have some fun? No, nah, we're we're not. It's not crowded, but it's close enough mm-hmm. built that you can't take your groceries out of your car without somebody seeing uh-huh. you do it. Well, it's let's not just that enclosed. Let's just right. say that you were living somewhere else where that could happen. You didn't see them bringing in the bodies in the trunk. What oh, you, you mean do? like Arkansas? Yeah, what would you do without? What would I? Yeah, what would what you do? Would, do? would you beat him in the head with a hammer? Well, with a hammer? Yeah, I don't you can't know. Let him go on. We're, we're talking about right and wrong, good and evil, right? So what would you well, do? You, you, An authority. You, you, well, you know, it's kind of obvious, but, but see, it's kind of obvious because then it would be fight or flight at that point. So <laughs> I would, I don't know. Well. I'd, Let's say he would I betray me. everybody I know and let him kill them off too and live, or would I kill somebody and stop the po- the possibility from occurring? Let's say that, right? Because mm-hmm. it's all hypothetical. Then I I would do one or the other. I I don't know which one I'd take because I haven't been there in my life to compare it to a real thing. All right, let me make it uh, a lot more simpler scenario. Well, that's let's it. I'd say, either fight let's, or flight. Let's right. say you had a rabid dog. What would you do with it? Oh, I'd put it down. Shoot it? I'd have to, yeah. Right in the head? Probably, if I could aim that good, yeah. You would try you, to do it quick. Where would you have to borrow a gun to do it? From your psycho neighbor over there that's got people in the basement? <laughs> <laughs> Good. That was good. I like the, I like the way you did that. <laughs> Prob- probably. I I just don't have an, uh, a natural born fear of other people. It's always been my weakness. Not not like I'm gullible and everybody fucking suckers me into all kinds of stupid shit. But I'm not afraid of people I don't know and whatever. People of color and all that crap. However you dress, that that's how you dress. You're going to be an Got early it. victim in the uh, zombie apocalypse. Probably. Yeah. Me and Circa are going to, yeah, me and Circa are going <clears> to <throat> go out together. We decided we'll we'll just bite each other. <laughs> 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 right, honey? <laughs> Through the zombie apocalypse. <clears throat> that's love, baby. She's ignoring me now. Now that's love, baby. Oh, I have so left this because we weren't talking about him, I guess. Oh. Twice he says, see you, Hans. Yeah, I. but according to my mother, I would have been going to a temple. But my mother didn't go to a temple, so she didn't force me to do it either. But they still had that um, that crazed freaking Jew blood crap going on. From that smells so good. My grandmother. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to explain to somebody that's never been, you know, your third, your your third party talking. It's doesn't translate very well. I, I drove by a Jewish temple a couple of times in Vegas. There was one. You think? Yeah. You know what's really amazing is how many fucking Jews there are in American politics. A lot. Oh wow! Yeah, but they got uh, dual citizenship to the U.S. and Israel. Right. I about shit my pants when I saw that. Can still smell that fart. It was frightening. Oh, man. Well, I've said for a long time, Palestine's just practice land for what's coming to you. You'll see. It'll be okay. It, Listen, well, they, the, the, wall, listen, the wall will be, bring jobs. Okay, so we all need jobs. Think of the children. Fuck the children. What about them? Who care about? Who give a fuck about us when they're dr- giving us fluoride in our water, telling us to brush our teeth in it because it's good for you when it's a fucking uh, a third eye killer? <laughs> they knew what they were doing. This did not happen by accident. <laughs> the laws are just written to support the crime that the fucking corporations do to us, and you can't tell anybody of average, you know. Average interest. Let's use the word interest instead of intelligence. Let's just say John doesn't give a fuck because, hey, it doesn't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> and, and that's their argument. Doesn't involve me. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, 
what would it compare to? You know, it would compare to uh, somebody that helps you mortgage, get a mortgage to buy a house. Shall I that, but compare that you person, to a summer's day? Wait, but somebody that helps you get a mortgage to buy a house but has no personal understanding of how the fucking money is created. And there's people out there that are like that. And I know them from living, <laughs> from existing amongst them. Hey, I think Great Ninja would have been cool. We should have let him for hang what? out. Uh, Great Ninja. Yeah, Kate kicked him for being a Ooh, bot. A bot. Well, how they how they get these cool names, man? Great Ninja. So they can get on the sites without anybody booting them. What's Duh. going on with all this? I don't even understand why they're... What, why why, why the would purpose? you ask me a techie question on a, about a computer? So Please. I could make myself look smart? Well, then you're going to look really <laughs> smart because I don't fucking know. All I know is they're, they pissed Grimnir off enough to boot them on site. <laughs> so Grim's got our back. Right on. I trust Grimm's site. Oh, and the new dub, the new old new WT site. Wow, that's very nostalgic. You know, for the short life I've got on the interwebs, it started when I was in Scotland. You know, so wow, it's been a very interesting journey. Right. Yeah. And everybody that I know through the internet, uh, I've met them all since I left America. So the only uh. The only foreigners that I know <laughs> are people that I I go to you know I pass by in the street when I go down to get stuff from the stores. <laughs> oh yeah, today I had my excursion to town. I had to go get some stuff, and wow, it's it was getting overcast and windy. Mm. You know, the weather's not so nice to sit outside <clears throat> anymore. But I'm a diehard. I'm out there in a t-shirt, feeling just a little breezy. You know that. It's not quite co cold enough to put a jacket on, but it's cold enough to let you know that it's coming. No, I don't know how you look at it. I look at it like that because I'm a sensitive person. I think Grimner called you a douche. Really? <laughs> yes, he did. Oh, <laughs> thanks, so you, old, you filthy hippie pot smoking old dirty dog, you. Nah, they're having fun. That's okay. I don't. I don't Wait. mind a little teasing from the R L and M. You guys, here's a, you guys are funny for me. Here's this. Uh, we go. Hold on. Look. What? See look at what? for this because I I don't know if I can. Most I nicks from nice. the no most nicks from the spam box come from running a who on the channels. They join Thank on you. various networks. See that? Oh. I don't understand that. Douche canoe. No, now, I'm not see, really. you made me have to make my look, self look stupid, and I'm not ashamed to do it. Well, I don't really care. You know, the stuff that we're good at, though, is kind of unique. And we have our ups and we have our lows, just like everybody else in, that does something as a specialty. And mine is to be kind of a smart ass and funny guy sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes not so much. <laughs> But I have had a lot of fun telling jokes and stories on this dork table. And saying hi to the RL and Emmers that, you know, that know that something is fucking wrong. We don't all agree on all the details. And, I, you know, I, I guess I get a little bit frustrated like Hal Anthony because I see it on, on my level of whatever that is. And then you see it on yours, whoever you are or aren't. And then we're supposed to all try to get along in the middle, and it's designed from the state, from the <clears throat> gate, to not work, I think. Well, what do you think? What do you think, Vincent? I think I have a pretty unique perspective uh, on account of having been able to traverse and take a, a ponder gander from uh, so many other people's perspectives. That's what I'm considering perspectives. It's, uh, I, I like to think that I have that ability to... To look beyond my own man, I thought something really bad happened. <laughs> Did you stub your toe? Yep. I, I stubbed my lung. 
I, sounded I like the... sounded like fun. Like it was a oh, roller coaster ride. Probably you didn't know if he was gonna scream or throw up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Just <laughs> had your hands out in front of you. <laughs> Up high. Oh, one of those. <clears throat> hey. You know what they got on you know what they got on what you call it? On Netflix, right? Just think about they, that. Well, if you do they got this program called American Horror Story. Oh, I wouldn't watch that. I've seen some that. years That's are bad. good, and some yeah. You were saying because you're a big wuss, but you know what? No, because I would the, kill a psycho man. He he wouldn't get a chance if I discovered that. It's mm -hmm. not, yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's easy for me to say that, but hmm. put him down. I don't know with chopsticks. And a I know I would. I would that not would do seek. It. I would not seek a Thorita, but I, I can't say that I would approach a situation like that alone. That would be, yeah, that's more than I've ever had to think about. But then you must be completely insane because you already know what you're going to do. You bet. Well, I think the people with a plan are the crazy ones, not... Not the ones like me that just take it as it comes. But you think it's smart to be prepared to have a, a barrel full. I think it's of food. I think it's paranoid to be prepared like that. If you That's live where I live, it's pointless. What I'm going to sit around here worrying about something that would never fucking happen. It might happen. <laughs> yeah, we might get hit by a meteor too. So yeah, and you know. your point. That's we could not get hit with a near as likely to happen. A nuclear could plant happen. could leak. Yeah, yeah, all kinds that, of shit. That's, that happen. is happening at a lot of places. Yeah. Well, look at all the crap <laughs> that's already happening yeah. that we allow to happen that's that, worse than the shit that could happen. There you go. Put a nun in prison for uh, breaking in and painting on walls inside a nuclear plant. That's what you Yeah, do. that was years ago. Well, you, that's what you ought to do, right? No. That'll I... teach them. That'll teach them, right? Don't. No. Do it not. Scares... Protest. It's. Yeah, that scares the shit out of the other sheep. So they go, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> they put an old lady in prison. Then what do they do to me? Yeah, well, I got an idea. You could do something like this. Uh, go undercover as the FBI and get some guy drunk and get him to say what he would like to have done or what he would have done. <laughs> then put him in prison for 68 years for saying it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that did happen, didn't it? Greg Burleson. Six to eight. Yeah, 68 Not years. Six, 68. 68. 68. Six, eight. Holy, for words. For words. In the land of the free and the home of the brave and all that? Yeah. Then how come people are still buying that story about America's great again and all that shit if that's what's going on? It's spelled G-R-A-T-E. Yeah, but I don't get it, Vincent. If that's truly what's going on, how? where's the great part coming in at? Because you got a tax break on something. A T E, like cheese. Yeah, yeah, okay. I heard Mary say that 50 times. What's your point? Cheese. Smile. <laughs> like the Mickey Mouse, like the Mickey Mouse cartoon where he's fucking the Swiss cheese. No, it's great. It's great? Yes. Oh, yeah, like cheese grater. That you know? boy, I say that boy is about as sharp as a bowling ball. Step aside, son. You bother me. <laughs> yeah, that's the other wow. guy. That was yeah. Foghorn Le Leghorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WC goes. He, he would say, yeah. there's, "There's two things I can't stand: is dogs and children." Yeah, whoopty! Wow, was that penetrating news or what? <clears throat> Let's see. Wow, there's a there's some controversy. Well, okay, but see, that's Sock's version of where he lives, and I've got He's my smart. version of where I live, right? But where I live, these people were independent of all that big shit long long before it was necessary, so they're prepared already. There's no reason for me to do anything. Can you imagine the atrocities in the worst possible times what people will do? No, but I've lived through 
natural disasters and people are way different af after the disaster than they were before it. Anybody ever try to eat you? No. <laughs> well, not not like for a meal. <laughs> not in a carnivorous way. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not talking like nacho sauce and <laughs> like. A, yeah. I just said not in a carnivorous way. Why well, do you ask a bonehead question like that? Vinny? Well, I'm just wondering how far your mind works. But people <laughs> often, yeah, in, in in very dire circumstances, people uh, often resort to eating their fellow kind. Well, right, but in a real true state of disaster. You really kind of calm down and, and wait. Negative. Wait for the government to show up. No, you, you actually for you realize nobody's coming, so you you're stuck where you are with who you're around. So you better be fucking cool, or you're gonna end up buried underneath a box somewhere. Oh, shouldn't you have something buried in the ground to save yourself? I didn't. I'm still here. What's the point? Well. The point. See, I mean, I, I, the point. Right. I'll say the point is on your head, boy. No, the point. The point I live under is, and the point you live under are different. Because I, I don't plan on tomorrow ever. Never have. Don't care. It'll get here when it gets here. I'm in the right now. Oh. Anybody wanna? Anybody wanna pay attention, son, to where we are at the <laughs> moment, or do you want to go where you're going, or be where you've been? I want to be where I'm at, and it's so fucking hard to be there because there's always people dragging me off the point. <laughs> You're just a Trump lover, I bet, secretly. Oh, like, yeah, Rob, Rob works. Uh, he's a closet uh, liberal. <laughs> Rob works. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, I mean, Scubo, Scubo, Scubo. Hey, yeah, Scubo. but you already, yeah. you already fucked it up saying it the right way. So. Oh, well. But, but yeah. Oh sure, yeah. Do do you ever pay attention to what you read on the internet or me? Yeah, never. Never, obviously. Okay. Uh -uh. So Rob works as a closet liberal. Yes. And what would that make Grim? <laughs> you heard it here on the dork table. We're uh, we're analyzing <laughs> the main feed for free. We're not even charging you people for this. This is all free from us to you. Continue. <laughs> hey, so wing sock that. puppets, sock, sock puppets, <laughs> kicking your butt. <laughs> ding ding. That's uh, I think that's uh, sock puppet to you, nada. I mean, oh, I don't. Not I truly, I truly don't fucking care. It'll be here. It won't be here. I'll worry about it when it's when it happens. You guys worry about tomorrow. I I got other things going on. There's always somebody else doing it. So, eh. uh uh. Okay. Right. That's how this little town survived before the modern day hit it. What happened? They they got farms there, huh? Yeah. How they, far from they, the city is it? Uh, about 35, 40 miles, maybe. In that's, a car. That's not a far walk for no, a day or no, two's I walk could, for I could people do it fleeing about, the city. I could do it in about probably 35. It, that's because I'm a slow, slow to about three an hour maybe when I walk. So whatever that would come to. About 15, I guess, 20. Straight through. <laughs> I wonder if I, I mean, could do that. I got his, I got his goat look. You got everybody all pissed off? I got Rob's <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Rob. Google. If you're a closet liberal, then Chloe is, I don't know, Trump's personal golf ball washer. <laughs> um, because, no, nah, it's not likely. I, I've heard you speak. I've known you for, you know, on the interwebs for a period of time. And when you did the radio thing, the, the personalities that you brought forward, that's freedom. <laughs> That's people trying to tell you you're in a cage, and if you're going to play in the cage, these are the real rules that you need to know you're being lied to. And the minute you tell somebody, hey, you know, everything that you do in society is based on a fucking lie and you're getting screwed, they stop listening about right at When you say about screwed, that's it. They're, they're done hearing it. 
You're sure. And if, it, yeah, well, my opinion of it is, okay, so what? We'll see. I'm going to be 59 years old, and I have not yet succumbed to the threats, <laughs> and I don't think I will tomorrow. But all that prepper stuff, it, to me, it's just not a necessary thing in my life. Dude. I don't need it. Hey, check your neighbor, the one with the basin. Somebody shoot that duck. Thank you, Sock. Everybody uh, in this neighborhood, everybody in this neighborhood had is a basement. But if people started disappearing, uh, people would notice. Oh, shoot them again. It's it's a small it's a small society here. It's not a great big place, you know. We're living small time, like you, my friend. And I was. Oh, like, speaking of it, hey, guess what time it is, Bosco? It's uh, six minutes till. Yeah, we can say hello and goodbye, my friend. I don't want to say goodbye. What? You want to do more time on the dork table? No. Then say goodbye. We got five minutes. Say goodbye, Edith. Well, that's what I mean. We got to say what's coming up. Um, Who's coming up? Saturday. So tomorrow's Grim with the blues. Yeah. Then he plays those fucking lightning finger games of trivia. Trivia, yeah. My, My fingers are slow, like my internet. I have a hard time keeping up with all those smart people, too. Yeah, well, it's one thing to be in there and, you know, I I get to play a little bit. But, well, the competition is very hard when there's all the brainiacs are all there at the same time. I think we'll be missing Moose this week. She's out giving a festival thing. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, that's why she was, that's why it was balls to the floor instead of yeah. freaker's ball. Yes. Mm. Bring a then, fist, uh, fistful of dollars to the festival. Then, you get to tell who's on after the trivia game is finished. Yeah. I, hey. Your favorite, that's my favorite. Crazy. crazy guy. The legal beagle, the guy that knows the law. You ain't going to say it? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the woodshed, <laughs> of course. That's Hal Anthony. <laughs> Noon that's o'clock it. on the Pacific yeah. side, the left coast out there in California, but. He's above there somewhere. Hopefully uh, below the smoke line. Yeah, well, Fire see, I'm, just, I, I'm luckily in, in a place in life where I don't need anything from anybody. So I'm good, you know. But I know where to go if if I ever had to go home or whatever that would entail. I, at least I got the information I need to deal with it in a in a winning fashion. Come home. Well, no, I'm Come hoping not to. I want, I want to stay here. Okay, Perry Como and does the best of Van Halen right here on the dark table. Yeah. So you're going to sing our way out no, of here, I, Mr. Particular? I, I morphed into humming. Ah, are you going to morph into the dark table again or what? Yeah, back to duck. Twicey, dork twicey. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, Grim has been sh- uh, showless during the week. You want to do a Monday or a Tuesday? Mm, maybe. Maybe ain't an answer, my friend. Yeah. What are we going to talk about? Let's set a topic instead of a ramble then. Oh, uh, how You about, think about it. Got, you think about Wait. No, I, I got a great one quick? right here. Uh, Don't sure. make it. Don't make it. Fuck yeah. Let's talk about fires. I want to talk That's, about go ahead, what do you want? questioning the official story. Of 9-11? No, of anything. Okay. Questioning, because all I do in, in my life, that's what I'm guilty of, is questioning the official story. Not standing on either side of the fucking argument, just going, well, what if you're both wrong? And then everybody hates me, and then they accuse me of being on the other side, and I'm on either side at all. All I'm doing is saying, what if you're both wrong? Yes, Becky. I love that song. Oh, Sammy and Turner, because you were yes. singing into the microphone mm-hmm. like Perry Como. Hey, you could be like Perry Como. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Listen, Coma. you will go into the trance. Watch the it, Coma Graham. trance will take you over. <laughs> anyway, this has been another dork table with me, Flash, somebody. And my good friend, Vinny. Dork uh, Twacy. And Dork Twacy. And a couple of other voices. But maybe we'll do more voices. Uh, 
I don't know. You want to shoot for a Tuesday night thing? Maybe do a. I'll stay up late and we could do a late night one. Okay. A late night for me, but it probably it'd be early evening for you, like six your time. Six my. Be like one o'clock in the morning here. Okay. Midnight one o'clock my time. So it'd be like five or six your time. Mm-hmm. That Which would uh, that would work good. That would be for uh, uh, so Kate can listen laugh. Pick, pick Kate, a, pick remember, a night. You she like uh, she was like uh, hoping for an evening uh, edition. Pick a pick a night, either night at a time, and I will I will do it. Hey, let's uh let's sneak in right now. Uh, I don't know Tuesday. Some some reason Tuesdays. Okay, Tuesday at yeah. at one o'clock my time or midnight my time. Um. What well, I don't know. Five my time, six my time. Yeah, four my one. time. Five, uh, five my well, time. Well, four is a little early. Well, five would be uh, plus seven, I believe. So that puts us at midnight here. Well, I do the math. I'll find the right. But five o'clock your time Tuesday. Sure. How about it? And we'll. All right. We'll see you if you come in and visit with us on the dork table. <laughs> All thanks, right. Vinny. Hey, safe travels, thanks. Becky. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks, Yeah, Asher. you guys are, you guys, you crazy people on the RLM. Later. <laughs>